Okay, let's talk about where Apple truly fucked up. Now right now, YouTube and the internet is absolutely ablaze with people hating on the new 2016 MacBook Pro. And for just cause. In the past, Apple has gotten away with a few things. People complained about the iPhone and the iPad only having one button and a touch screen. And uh, now everybody's using uh, an iPhone, basically, or a derivative thereof. They got away with it. It has a touch screen. Now, touching a screen on an iPhone and having fingerprints that you constantly wipe off, like every day or every two days, is one thing. A screen that you're actually touching, especially if you're editing photos, that's no dice. Um, to make the screens really thin and uh, protective, uh, wiping those fingerprints off without pressing too hard and causing damage to the LED display causes an issue. They have to be a certain thickness for you to actually had, have uh, some glass there that will both uh, allow you to constantly clean it and take the pressure. Having a touch screen on a laptop or a, a desktop model is the furthest thing from ideal. Absolutely so. So, One thing Apple's trying to get away with now on the new MacBook Pro, which by the way is an absolute goddamn abortion. Just a, just a abysmal, you know, unibrow, you know, uh, subhuman, knuckle-dragging, you know, abysmal, disgusting failure. Been messing with it. It's got serious issues. They had to call it dongle gate. They've eliminated absolutely everything that will allow the computer to function properly. And I know what Apple's trying to do, but this is where they seriously fucked up. Apple always thinks that they're sitting on the top of a mountain and everybody's going to follow their shit. It's like, well, they followed us on the uh, on the. Uh, on the iPhone, now basically everybody's packing an iPhone. Well, not everybody, but most everybody's packing an iPhone. And you think, well, if we lead, people will follow us. Now, people that actually are interested in workflow and are actually interested in function over form are going, no, Apple, fuck you. This is where you screwed up. Nobody wants a bag full of dongles. Nobody. SD card slots, necessity. Um, there's certainly no compact flash card slots on uh, any MacBook, you know, every, most uh, laptops for many, many years now. I used to be number one person in the world, and if you want a link, let me know, and I'll post some links below that I still have on Apple.com. I was number one person in the world for being tech support on the MacBook Air, which they're now killing off. You know, obviously I have mixed reservations about that. This is actually the best laptop I've ever used in my life, and I've owned, God, a lot of laptops. Used to fix old Toshiba and Compaq laptops, actually. Used to fix them. Um, Apple actually used to watch uh, my uh, tech support uh, answers because I'd answer so many, and my success rate was so high. I could diagnose uh, MacBook Airs a lot faster than everybody else could. Um, back to the point about the 2016 MacBook. It's an abortion. The specifications are the same. That's the same MacBook from four years ago. They've eliminated all connectivity to uh, the new uh, MacBook with uh, USB-C connectors. Uh, the uh, I've been messing with uh, the one that's out there, actually out there now, the past couple of days. Um, the keystroke travel is too short. Um, it uh, will not work with uh, Thunderbolt devices. You're going to have to have a bag full of dongles. The specifications are the same as a four-year-old MacBook. It's a mistake. What Apple's thinking that they're going to do with this is that they think they're going to lead and everybody's going to follow. It turns out there's been such a hardcore backlash against Apple that all these stupid ass dongles to connect to the 2016 MacBook Pro what they've done is they've slashed the prices on a lot of them some of them by half and some of them by as much as 75 percent they're basically giving them away at cost because they have them produced for Apple Apple isn't making all these damn dongles they're having them made for them so they're basically giving them away for free there's been such hardcore backlash now Apple has finally stepped back up at the upper echelons. This is not showing publicly, but they've actually taken a step back. They thought, oh my God, you know, everybody followed us when we led with the uh, new uh, 
iPhone design back in the day. The same thing with the iPad. And now they're going, no, fuck you, Apple. No, fuck you. You just brought out a super expensive MacBook Pro. Um, radically expensive. With old specification quad-core i5 processor. Uh, 512 uh, gig SSD, even though it's uh, significantly faster. The price on it is astronomically higher. That little touch bar, all those are, are, are touch links. There's no difference between those and hotkeys. People, as soon as the, uh, the novelty of that wears off, which is basically already worn off, people realize, hey, this is a shitty old MacBook with a touch bar on it. You know, for an astronomically high price. Um, with the same specifications except for the faster solid state drive as my older MacBook, except now I have to own a shitload of dongles to stick in my, my, my laptop bag. Very, very stupid move on Apple. Uh, someone's actually going to get fired at Apple. All the big names, I mean the big names, the big, it's not just me saying this, the big names are saying, in essence, they're not saying this, but they're saying, fuck you, Apple, you really fucked up. I mean, Apple, excuse my language, Apple really screwed the pooch on this one. Now listen up. I always bring, when I travel for any period of time, I always bring a redundant um, laptop. Here's my old MacBook Pro. How do you like the Nikon sticker? Here's uh, my MacBook Air. Okay. Here's a uh, Apple logo permanently tattooed on my wrist. At home, I've got two Mac Minis and an iMac uh, with 4K display. What else have I got? A couple iPads and an iPhone. Um, used to be an Apple stock owner at one point in time. Um, I'm not an Apple fanboy. You think I am? It's the number one person in the world for answering tech support on the MacBook Air. I've got tons of Apple products, but Apple, you fucked up. I love Nikon to death. I've been using Nikon now for over two decades. I'm shooting my ugly face now with the Nikon. I mean, I've... Jesus Christ, I own a lot of Nikon stuff, but I've always called Nikon out for the stupid bullshit that they've done. Apple, this is Apple's epic fail. You know, trip and fall flat on their face, break their nose, bleeding all over the place, just knuckle-dragging, unibrow, Simeon stupidity. Apple really fucked up. Really bad. I mean, just bad, 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 bad. Apple really screwed up. Um, even Steve Wozniak, over the past few years, the last time the new iPad came out, Steve uh, Wozniak said, uh, they said, Steve, are you going to buy the new iPad? Of course, he'd get it for free. And he said, you're going to get the new iPad? And he said, no. Said, really? Why not? I think that dumb thing doesn't have enough memory in it. He wants to throw a few movies on there. Any of the iPads currently, you know, if you want to throw a few movies on there to watch, I mean, the damn thing's already full. You know, that, that's, that's absolutely ridiculous. Like a base model iPad should have something like at least 256 gig on it. Not 64 and 32. I mean, that is bullshit. Memory is cheap, you know. So Steve Wozniak is right. I mean, even Steve Wozniak, the co-creator of Apple, the real creator of Apple, has been shitting on Apple um, lately on several things. The very mere fact that Apple has dropped the price to their cost, either half off or even 75-80% off the dongles, you can't even stick a fucking SD card slot, SD card in the new MacBook Pro. I mean, if you're a photographer, I mean, that's a big fuck you from Apple. It's like, you're going to charge me a shitload more for a same specification MacBook Pro that I can't even stick a damn SD card in. I mean, have you lost your goddamn mind? And no more MagSafe connectors? Are you kidding me? Oh, here's another thing. The keyboard, uh, the second generation a short stroke keyboard that are on the new MacBook Pro, they are insanely loud. I mean, you know, on a normal MacBook, you know, no problem. On the new ones, I click, 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 click. Really, really noisy. And very, very short travel. There is such a thing as too short of a travel on a keypad, on a keyboard. 
and uh, they're getting that tactile response of actually pushing something in. If it's like touching, if it's actually like typing on an iPad screen where you actually get no uh, feedback at all, that irritates the shit out of people that are typing in documents and writing articles and books. That irritates the shit out of us. That's even worse than the fact that there are no ports on the damn machine. So it's not just me saying this. I mean, if you type in MacBook 2016 failure or Epic Fail 2016, all the top people, the ver, I mean, all these people, the most respected people, they're like, you no, know, they're all saying the same thing except in a lot nicer way than I'm saying it. They're going like this to Apple. And they're right. Apple took a step too far. They basically thought that the new MacBook Pro would be like a futuristic car that doesn't have any more damn buttons. You know, everything will be voice command and it's just like one button. And you hit it and that turns it on. And then you just kick back and you tell it what to do. And it has like one universal port. And they're like, everybody's going to love this. Apple to so totally went uh, form over function that they absolutely screwed themselves. They stepped outside of their bodies and then they screwed themselves. This is what Apple did with the new MacBook Pro. People are saying all over the damn place. People that are even hardcore uh, Apple fanboys are like, you know, screw this. I'm not buying this turd monkey. I'm not going to buy a Windows machine. And this sounds like an exaggeration, and it is, but it's truthfully, it's very honest. As I've been screwing around with Windows forever, I'm not leaving Apple. Not because I'm a fanboy of them. It's not the hardware, okay? This is hardware here. It's the operating system. Windows sucks ass so hard that I would rather stick my nuts in a vice and have someone stick 